Have you ever heard the comparison that getting a pair of Doc Martens is like getting a tattoo? It may seem like an odd comparison, but it's like once you invest in a pair of these boots, you may find yourself wanting more. And like a tattoo, there may be one that you end up liking less than others. The pair of Doc Martens I'm talking about was bought a couple years ago because they look stylish, durable, and perfect for the winter season. But unfortunately, my experience with them wasn't what I expected. These boots were the Doc Martens 1460s Winter Grip. I remember the day I bought them like they were yesterday. They looked so perfect. They were insulated, slip resistant, and best of all, I don't remember breaking them in. They felt good from day one. For the first winter, they were fantastic. I walked around like a boss, going through snow, ice, and whatever mother nature decided to throw at me. I felt invincible, like nothing could stop me. After that first winter, things have certainly taken a turn. I decided to make a change and relocate from the crazy winters of North Dakota to the mild climates of Maryland. Little did I know that my beloved winter grips were about to be obsolete. I mean, seriously, what kind of winter is it when you don't even need snow boots? So there they sat, collecting dust in the back of my closet. And eventually, my 1460s, made in England, took its place in my winter rotation. They do not have insulation like the winter grip, but they were reliable, sturdy, and they look good. One of the struggles of owning winter boots is what to do with the snow boots when there's no snow in sight. Should I sell them to make a quick buck or hold on to them and hope next winter we have some snow? It's a tough call. On one hand, I can make some quick cash and use it to buy something else. Or, on the other hand, what if I sell them and then BAM, a blizzard hits. Personally, I do not like walking around in my winter grips if it's not snowing or there's some ice outside, simply because of the slip resistant soles. I think it will be counteractive to its purpose. Walking around in them and drive pavement make me feel like I am trying to ice skate on concrete. It's a slippery slope, pun intended. A lesson I've learned from this experience is we all make impulsive purchases. Whether it's a pair of boots, fancy gadgets, or a subscription to the gym we never go to. It happens. The important thing is to learn from our mistakes and make more thoughtful purchases in the future. Also, I learned that the winter grips might be great boots, but they're just not a right fit for my current situation. If I was still in North Dakota, i will be singing their praises. But in Maryland, they're as useful as a snowplow in the Sahara. 